in the lobby of Ramsey Solutions. JV and Ashley are with us. Hey, guys, how are you? Hi, we're great. Good welcome, day. Welcome, welcome. Where are you guys from? We're from California. What part? Los Banos. Where? Los Banos. Okay. What's that near? Help me. It's not really near anything. It's an hour and a half from San Jose, an hour and a half from Fresno. Okay. All right. <laughs> Very cool. Well, welcome to Nashville. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for coming. You're here to do your debt-free scream. How much have you paid off? 106000 All right. And how long did that take you? Five and a half months. Five and a half? Yes. All right. Very cool. And uh, during that time, your range of income, household income? Well, it started at 90000 mm -hmm. And she worked half of last year, so it ended up at 135000 Okay, cool. So, Ashley, you got a job in the middle of this. I did, yes. Okay, very cool. What do you do? I'm a physical therapist. Cool. And JV, what do you do? I'm an engineer. All right, good. So you guys are making great money. What kind of debt was the 106 thousand dollars that was our house you paid off your house yes yep. you guys aren't old enough to have a paid for house you're so weird i love it way to go you guys Thanks. how old are you two uh i'm 26 oh my gosh 30 oh my gosh and your house is paid for mm -hmm. yep in california no less what is this house worth um now it's worth around three hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> and you're 26 years old. I love you. You're awesome. This is so very cool. How long have y'all been married? 2012. December 2012. So four years. Pretty close. So what happened? Oh, so you started on this before. No, you started on this just five and a half months ago. So Yes. <laughs> the pay what for happened school. five and a half months ago that made you just go into high gear here and knock this? Because, I mean, none of your friends are doing this. None. Um, I graduated with my doctorate, so. Okay. And that, that's when you started. When you started to work, you said, okay, we're going to take all my money that I'm making and some and throw it at the house. Was that the plan? Yeah. Yep. We had decided to do that before I graduated. Mm -hmm. um, but we did your plan and saved up just while I was in school. Mm -hmm. So we had some money to throw at it then. And then from there, we just cash flowed and put a lot of money on it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So uh, whose idea was this? This is both of ours. Yeah. Both of you? Yeah. Okay. So you didn't yeah. have to talk one of you into the other one and that kind of thing. And But you've been married, cooking along here, three, three and a half years. And uh, what? You just looked up and saw that you were going to make the graduation. It's happening. There it is. In the, I can reach over there and touch it. So let's do this. Is that what happened? Or well, tell me the story. So while I was in school, I wanted to pay extra, but... Voice like of reason save. was like, no, let's save while you're in school. Make sure you get done. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I graduated in May of last year. Mm -hmm. And then I had to get through the licensure and everything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So I got a job in July. Mm -hmm. And then we just started throwing okay. money at it. So you wisely said, we're, we're going to make sure we got enough money with no student loan debt to finish school, right? Yeah. yeah exactly. Even though she's wanting to go ahead and do this. <laughs> she, so you guys were itching to do this before. Were you just raised by smart parents? I mean, what causes this at 26 and 30 years old? Yeah. So my parents, um, I have awesome parents. They did not hide their mistakes from me. Mm. Um, so that's one word of advice to parents. Even if you did it wrong, mm -hmm. your kids can learn from that. And wow. they just always told me, you know, don't go into debt. We started our marriage in debt and mm -hmm. it sucks. <laughs> so mm -hmm. just don't go into debt. And so neither of us had any debt mm -hmm. and we bought our house, reasonable mortgage mm -hmm. and decided we just wanted to pay it off as fast as we could so that we didn't have to deal with it. What about you, JV? What was your background? Um, well, my parents raised me smart. Just don't spend money you don't have. And you're an engineer. So yeah. this, this this money nerd stuff comes natural, so right? that money go towards interest. I really didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to be so rich. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> You're going to be able to be so generous. It's going to be so crazy. You're going to completely change your whole family tree. Your parents must be jumping up and down. Yeah, they're pretty excited. <laughs> I bet they are. Well, they should be. They should be very proud of you. I am. Yeah. I'm very proud of you. You guys are heroes. What an, yeah. I mean, you guys, this is, if we can get, oh, if we can just get, oh, just a couple of your generation to do this. And a few of them are, I mean, we're coming in here with paid off houses by the time they're 30, 35 years old. I'm seeing it more and more. It, it's a trend in the last really year and a half on the debt-free screams that we've seen it. But uh, it's just something is making you guys believe you can do this and then you go do it. Yeah, there was, um, there's a story. Before this, we had already decided we'd pay it off. But in my last internship with school, 
Uh, I was just observing one of the therapists working with a patient. This patient was like in his 90s. Wow. And the therapist asked him, oh, how long have you been living here? How long have you been in your house? And he goes, well, you know, I just paid it off last month. And the therapist said, oh, so you've been in it 30 years. Wow. And I just don't want my life measured by how long I have debt. That's mm. just a horrible way to measure your life. Yeah. So Amen. it was just another encouragement. Now you're sitting in a $300,000 paid off home, making 135000 at 26 and 30 years old. You guys are impressive. Absolutely impressive. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so there's a 25 or a 24-year-old version of you out there listening right now. What do you tell them that they, can, that they have to do to have a paid-off house by the time they're old like you? Work hard, don't take out student loans. Do what, Say it again. Work hard and don't take out student loans. Okay. I see. Um, you got to have goals, not just the goal for paying off the house, but specific goals for after that. You know, we have our goals of retirement and our goals of travel, and we had specific things laid out, written down. It's not a goal until you write it down. Mm -hmm. um, so just have a reason besides just, oh, I want to get out of debt. You got to have a reason. I can see why you're where you are. You're impressive. Very cool. <laughs> very, very cool. There's Hope America. There's JV and Ashley's out there. Oh, my gosh. You're awesome. All right. JV and Ashley from California. $106,000 paid off in five and a half months, making 90 to now 135 and they are debt-free. House and everything. Count it down. Let's hear a debt-free scream. Three, Three, two, two one. one. We're, We're debt free! free! <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Very, very well done. Man, that's amazing. Now, if you're 55 and you are listening to that, does that mean it's too late for you because they did it at 26? No, it should be your inspiration to get up off your butt and do it before you're 90. It just means you can do it. That's what it means. If they can do it, you can do it. And did you notice what they did? They did not buy an expensive house. I mean, a $300,000 house in California is an inexpensive house. You know that, right? And they bought an inexpensive home so that they could pay it off because their goal of having it debt-free was right in front of their face the whole time. So they didn't go lease a car that they couldn't afford have a student loan that's been around so long they think it's a pet. They didn't have master card, American distress and discovered bondage coming out their ears. They weren't going on vacations and rest, going to restaurants they couldn't afford. They had a goal in front of them, and now they can do anything they want to do. You know what you can do with $135,000 a year when you don't have even a house payment? You become wealthy! That's what you do! Yeah, they'll be able to give They'll be able to give away more than any two or three of you put together that don't go do what they've done. If you go live normal, they're going to give away easily five or ten times what the average person gives away. What they're being able to have. What kind of outrageous generosity you can do making that kind of money. You're so free. You're so completely free. And you can do this stuff. You list your debts, smallest to largest. You pay minimum payments on everything but the little one. You attack the little one with a vengeance. You go to everydollar.com. You get your budget started. The first month's going to suck. The next month's going to suck a little less. The third month, it'll start to work. And everydollar.com's free. Yeah, go check it out. Get your budget going. Make some decisions that your friends make fun of. If your broke friends aren't making fun of you, you're not on track. Think about it. Oh, it looks like you're doing that Dave Ramsey cult stuff. Yeah, I'm like doing that I don't want to be broke stuff because I don't want to be a moron like you. That's what runs through your head when they say that, right? This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. And so you have to break the cycle. You have to flip this thing on its head and make it behave. You've got to get so fired up and wired up that your broke friends think you've lost your mind.